Hi, welcome back to the show. There are a lot of good reasons for you to visit Haines, Alaska. The days are long in the summer, and when the winter is nice, you can get there any number of ways. Planes will get you there, of course. So will the cruise ships. But if you want, you can even drive yourself there by taking your car on the Alaskan Highway. Haines has some very cool things to see, so don't forget your camera. For instance, you could visit the Chilkat Bald Eagle Preserve. In November, up to 3,000 eagles make this place their home. Thousands of these majestic birds gather together here annually to chill out for the winter. Then, there's the Hammer Museum. I know you might be thinking I'm pulling your leg, but a visit here is worth the time spent. Welcome to the Hammer Museum. And just to give you a little uh, lowdown on the Hammer Museum here, we have about 1,500 different hammers on display. It may sound a little bit wacky, uh, but there's just not quite as much hammer swinging going on as there used to be. And at one time, checks were canceled by hammers. These colorful little mallets that you see here, uh, for lack of a better name, we call these drink hammers. Uh, they were used in popular nightclubs back in the 20s and 30s. Patrons would tap their glass for applause when the band was done playing. This is cool. Fish wheels. Be sure to see these up close. These fish counters are pushed by the current. The salmon, swimming against the current, go right into these baskets and get caught. Fishing nerds like me can watch this for a long time. But most of all, save time for this, a visit to the Bald Eagle Foundation. For me, this is the most interesting place to spend time in Haines, right in the Bald Eagle Foundation Museum. And if you're lucky, you could spend that time in conversation with this man. Nature will, will solve all the problems of humanity. And those who live close to nature under nature's terms, and this is where the Clinkets in our valley come into the picture. They lived under nature's terms. And when they did so, they lived according to this basic philosophy. Live within your means and respect each creature and that's the Clinket way of doing it. And if you go to other societies and you talk about Hawaii, and you'll find out, you tend to spend the time to look and listen and, and watch, and you'll find the same thing. If you live in harmony with nature, you're going to be a happy person. Okay, tourist stuff is fun, but we need to go fishing. Don't go away. When we get back, we're hooking you up with halibut right after you catch this. You already know that many of us from Hawaii love to visit Alaska, but this Alaskan native, he visited Hawaii. Captain Stewart, how's it going? Good, good, good. Couldn't help but notice the name <laughs> on the boat. What's that about? Uh, it's uh, the Kailailani. It's, uh, I got the boat in uh, Honolulu, Hawaii three years ago. Uh, Thanks for the ride. What are we doing today? Uh, we're going to go check a uh, subsistence halibut, halibut skate. Uh-huh. Yeah, so hopefully we'll get a, get a few nice fish. I caught two, two nice ones yesterday, so. Yeah, subsistence is uh, like all you know, the, the people in Alaska live off the land a lot, so they, they have special regulations where you can, they allow you to go out and sub, subside, subsist on the land, so they, they call it subsistence. Terrific. Target fish today? Halibut. Now, if you are a native Alaskan like Captain Stewart, halibut fishing is really <laughs> more like halibut catching. Check this out. Huh? These halibut yeah. in these waters, how big do they get? Uh, Never know, maybe 200 pounds. You no can be kidding. lucky, yeah. On this gear, you've caught them over 200? Yeah. I caught one 135 yesterday. 135? Yeah. This long line, how long do you think it is? This sets maybe half a mile. No maybe kidding. Maybe not even. Okay. So yeah. we won't be here that long. Yeah. No, the commercial sets we, that I set are usually about a mile and a quarter to a mile and a half long. It's about three or 400 hooks on each set. This one's only 30 hooks, so. Awesome. Uh, that easy, I guess. <laughs> we like easy. Yeah. Little butt. <laughs> no. Too small? Too small. Okay. Let them grow up and get big. Aloha. Uh 
big enough to eat. Nice one. Nice. About a 45, 50 pounder. Boy, <laughs> Stuart's making this look too easy. Pressure's off. Looks like we're gonna have enough fish for the families of everyone who was on board. We all know what we're having for dinner. <laughs> one to numb, it won't come up. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go away. When we get back, we're taking you with us on the Chilkat River. Get yourself ready for an airboat ride. We're hooking up with cutthroat trout. The tradition continues on. Let's go fishing.